that, that's left after well, a new haircut, a new show. I took mom out to real fancy dinner and I bought a bus ticket and three Dr. Pebbles. Tell me something. Are you stupid or something? Stupid is stupid does, sir. Everybody here understands what triangle is. The word tri means three, tri-cornered hat, blah, 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 tri-state area, blah, blah, blah. Um, and this is a particular type of triangle referred to as a right triangle. And I'm going to teach you something that you need to teach your kids because in math, they don't teach language very well. And Everybody kind of knows that this is a rectangle, but what you may not know is that it's not a rectangle. It's a rect angle. And that means that there are four 90 degree angles, and the word rect or rectify which is the same word as direct, correct, resurrect, insurrect, rectify, and electricity has a specific, mean, uh, specific meaning. It means that we're going to turn AC and DC to make it right. The word rectify means to make right, which is why it's called a right triangle or a right angle. Rect means right, right means 90 degrees. So there are a couple of things about triangles you need to know. The first thing is, is that this corner is always going to be 90 degrees. And that's going to be the right angle. This is the angle that we're referencing. Now, it doesn't matter, but this is just typically the way it's drawn. It could be this one right here if we just change the position of the triangle. But this is the angle we're talking about. And another peculiarity of triangles is if you add this angle plus this angle plus this angle, all three angles have to equal 180 degrees. All right? That's just something you know. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, 180 degrees in a triangle. 360 degrees in a rectangle because we've got 90, 90, 90, 90. Four times 90 is 360. It just happens to be that if we were to make this a rectangle, Guess what? The triangle would be half of it. So half of the triangle would be 180 degrees. And the other half of the triangle would be the other 180 degrees. 90 and 90, 90 divided by, or cut in half, or cut, and then 90 cut. That plus that equals 90. That plus that equals 90. 90, 90, 90, 90, 1 is 360. All right? Now, because this is the angle of reference, in all of these things we're going to talk about. This is called the adjacent side because it's adjacent to that angle. It's next to. Adjacent means next to. Just like approximate means close to, adjacent means next to. And this is called the opposite side because of very opposite, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, very obvious reasons. Opposite is opposite this angle. It's on the opposite side of the angle. Okay, and then this is called the hypotenuse because uh, nobody in 2,500 years has come up with a better name for it. So it's referred to as the hypotenuse. Okay, if you need to pause the video right now and draw this picture, you do it. Um, but that's the basic triangle that we use in a trigonometric discussion. All right, well, the word trigonometry, trigo means three, and metry means to measure. So trigonometry is the measure of triangles. Geometry is the measure of the earth. Okay? So 
we use geometry to measure the Earth, and trigonometry is a kind of offshoot or brother or cousin to geometry. All right, so that's the first thing. You've got to remember you've got the hypotenuse, which is this long leg. That's the ladder up against the wall. Then you got the adjacent, which is the floor, and then you got the opposite, which is the wall. This is just a hard and fast thing that's true, that never changes. These are rules and words and terms that you learn, all right? And the, the ratios we're talking about are ratios of this length over this length or this length over this length or this length over this length. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Well, that's two numbers, that's two numbers, that's two numbers. So if that's 100 feet and that's 150 feet, that's a 150 and that's a 100, and if I know that and that, and I know that angle, then I can tell you that angle, because that never changes. Why? Well, because if I make the triangle this big, the ratio is the same. That side and that side is the same ratio as that side and that side. If I draw the triangle this big, then this side and this side is the same ratio as this side and this side, and that's because of that angle. This is how you cut a rafter, guys. Trigonometry is how you cut rafters. When I'm done with this, you're going to be able to take any run and any rise for any pitch on any roof and take this height and this length and do some quick math and, and know immediately what these two angles are because they're 180 and that's 90. And if you choose to do it, you can actually use the, 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 the um, graph on the framing square, which has this information on it, and you can get the ratio, and then you can calculate the length of your rafter and cut them all on the ground before you ever go up to the, to the attic. All right, so that's the first thing. And I'm going to leave it sit right here, and I'll zoom in on it maybe, and then you can um, screenshot it and print it or whatever, and then we'll come back and... Uh, uh, I'll have a new page and we'll start again.